What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a very exciting Liverpool transfer news video because Thiago Alcantara, the 29 year old world class midfielder who won 7 Bundesliga titles in a row is very close to signing for Liverpool according to Sport newspaper which is a Spanish news outlet and they are reporting that Thiago Alcantara is going from a champion team to another champion team and the negotiations are in the final Final stages, stages apparently Bayern Munich and Liverpool already agreed the fee between 30 and 35 million pounds plus maybe a little bit of bonuses and Thiago Alcantara are only negotiating the wage structure and uh, how his salary will be and what kind of bonuses we will have so this is very very exciting news in, in my opinion Thiago Alcantara there are rumors in the the Bayern Munich dressing room that he is destined to go to Liverpool and apparently he already told some of his teammates that Thiago Alcantara will go to Liverpool next season. He wants a new challenge in his life, he wants uh, to try out the Premier League and he wants to experience the best and most exciting league in the world and also he already won seven league titles at Bayern Munich so what's the challenge staying in Bayern and winning more titles he wants to come to Liverpool and win the maybe the the Premier League title and the Champions League as well so if you guys enjoy these uh, news videos leave a like and subscribe turn on the bell notification so you never miss the latest Liverpool and football news on this channel so Bayern Munich know that at 29 and after seven seasons in Germany Thiago is looking for new challenges and also his contract is up next summer so either Bayern sell him right now or they risk losing him for absolutely nothing uh, one year later and uh, according to the report Bayern Munich want around 35 million euros for him which is around 30 million pounds and I think that's reasonable for a 29 year old with one year left on his contract who is also world class I mean normally Thiago Alcantara would cost about 60 70 million pounds He's at the prime of his career and he still has a good two, three, four years in him. So I don't think it's a waste of money signing a 29 year old. And of course it would be a little bit of a shift in Liverpool's transfer policy but I think that uh, Liverpool are making very very smart moves in the transfer market uh, under Jurgen Klopp so I don't question this transfer I think it, we need another uh, midfielder in the side who can really challenge uh, the likes of uh, Wijnaldum and Henderson for a starting spot so it looks like the newspaper is, is reporting that the, Liverpool don't want to pay this 30 million pounds in one go in one installment they want to probably have a payment plan of maybe paying it in two or three years because that would actually help Liverpool's financial situation we know that Liverpool are uh, in a little bit of a trouble financially because of the pandemic the crisis because of football being suspended for three months and also because no fans allowed in the stadium makes Liverpool lose three million pounds with every home game that is played behind closed doors and so Liverpool are looking at imaginative formulas to to make the payment structure work Jurgen Klopp has never hidden his uh, admiration for Thiago he's a huge fan of him and he faced Thiago many many times as a Borussia Dortmund coach and he also faced uh, him as a Liverpool coach Liverpool manager when Liverpool knocked out Bayern Munich by winning in Munich and Thiago could firsthand see what a great team Liverpool had back then and I think now we are even better the Premier League uh, title with seven games to go is testament to that and Christian Falk who is working for the Sport Build newspaper one of the biggest newspapers sports newspapers in Germany and he knows what he's talking about he was asked on Twitter by a fan is it true that Thiago is going to Liverpool and he answered this is whispered and rumored in the dressing room of Bayern Munich of course no official confirmation yet because the minor details need to be finalized but if uh, it's whispered in the Bayern Munich dressing room, surely there is truth to this that Thiago and Liverpool are talking about a contract and I'm sure that Bayern Munich want to sell him in the summer because uh, otherwise they will lose him for absolutely nothing and he could be an absolute fine addition to Jurgen Klopp's uh, side. He's a deep-lying deep -lying playmaker who would certainly add a world-class level of creativity to Liverpool's midfield and he can score goals as well and Christian Falk is one of the most reliable journalists in the world when it comes to transfer news so he wouldn't say that uh, 
Thiago is whispered to join Liverpool in the Bayern Munich dressing room unless this was true. And Thiago is a little bit similar to Chabi Alonso but he's more agile, uh, faster, with more dribbling skills but he's a deep lightning, deep lying playmaker who can spray passes around brilliantly and he would add more creativity into Liverpool's midfield and that he could be the main creative force from centre midfield giving Liverpool a new dynamic in attack adding to what is already a world-class Liverpool team. His best season came in the Bundesliga where he scored 9 goals in 41 games in the 2016-17 season and on average he scores about 5 goals from midfield but the, the thing is that's the numbers of Wiener Doom of Oxley Chamberlain and he doesn't come to Liverpool mainly to score goals. He comes to Liverpool mainly to set up goals and to add another great player into the Liverpool uh, squad which would really beef up Liverpool for next season and I think we need more players, especially more attacking midfielders and, and uh, creative midfielders who can break down stubborn resolute defenses because yeah Naby Keita and Oxley Chamberlain are both injury prone and we can't really rely on just Fabinho, Henderson and Wijnaldum starting every game and for different sides you need different tactics, different kind of players with different skill sets and I think Thiago would fit into this Liverpool side almost perfectly. He is a highly created, uh, creative and technically very gifted playmaker. He has excellent dribbling skills, he has great ball control which allows, he, uh, allows him to operate very effectively in a deep uh, seated playmaking role as a centre midfielder although he's also capable of playing in a more advanced role as an attacking midfielder because as I said he had a season where he scored nine goals so he definitely knows where the back of the net is and he can score some great long-range goals. He has been noted for his accurate distribution of the ball as he possesses the great passing technique and vision and maintained, he actually maintained a higher than 90% pass success rate throughout the 2016-17 season which was his best season where he scored 9 goals uh, that was higher than any other player in Germany which is absolutely incredible that Thiago had the highest pass success rate of all the players in the Bundesliga that season so that just shows you what kind of brilliant player he is. Now let's talk about Trent Alexson Arnold and him saying that he not only wants to become a Liverpool captain but he wants to retire at Liverpool, he wants to do everything that the likes of Steven Gerrard and Jamie Carragher won and more. He wants to become the best right back the Premier League has ever seen, the best right back in the Premier League's history and he wants to le reach the levels of Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. I'm not sure a right back can reach those levels, maybe we won't be as famous as them because of just, you know, the goal scorers are always the most famous but he can certainly get to, to a level where, where he's the best right back in the world and he's even pretty close now, only being 21 years old this is what he told in, in an interview to the Telegraph newspaper Becoming Liverpool captain eventually motivates me every day It is something I want to achieve Obviously that will not be my decision But if I did not manage that before the end of my career I would be actually disappointed in myself because I always, I have always thought about that and you can understand his mindset. He has been playing for Liverpool in various youth teams since he was seven years old and his idol, his uh, like biggest uh, like role mother was Steven Gerrard who became Liverpool captain and also Jamie Carragher as well and those are the kind of players that, that Liverpool fans look up, looked up to growing up and uh, Trent Alexander Arnold is no different and he said this whether it happens or not I feel it is my job at Liverpool to lead by example I always try to do that now to be an example for the younger lads coming through I feel as though I am part of the team where everyone is influential and helping each other that is what captains do they lead and drag the side through tough times and motivate the players alongside them if you look at Ronaldo and Messi these are the kind of players you never see them relaxing Ronaldo has won five Champions League trophies. If you asked him if he was happy with that, he would say a little bit, but I want to win another one. As an athlete, it would be weird not to have that competitive nature. You need goals and ambitions. For the last two seasons, that ambition was to win the biggest trophy so far as Liverpool are concerned, which is the Premier League. Coming close last year was tough. 
not winning it. Not next season will be the same. It is a natural reaction for us as players to keep pushing to achieve what others have not done. And Alexander Arnold also said, I think about how I can go about becoming the best right back the Premier League has ever seen in, in the history of the Premier League. When everyone picks their best ever Premier League team, I want my name to be in their team and not Gary Neville's. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's a fair point. And I think he has uh, more technical uh, attributes. He's better going forward than Gary Neville. Maybe defensively he's not as good as Gary Neville was in his prime, but he can still get there. He's only 21 years old and that will come with experience. I wish Trent Alexander Arnold all the best luck in the world in becoming the best right back the Premier League has ever seen. And Virgil van Dijk shared some secrets about his defending skills and how he leads uh, from the back in Liverpool's defense. And this is what he said, if you look at us as a team, defending is something everyone is doing. Not just the defenders, but the midfielders and the strikers as well. Stuff from the front with the way players are pressing up front and the midfield, how much energy they put in is incredible. Obviously the worst case scenario if they come to our last line then we have to do it. If they come past us then we have this amazing goalie. I think the best goalie in world football. I try to stay calm. Obviously there are moments where you will see me going nuts and maybe uh, Henderson at times as well. Sometimes you have to be calm because teammates look to you and if you are the one who is stressing then they will stress as well. I try to stay as calm as I can find solutions as good as they come and there are obviously times when you have to switch off and that's uh, I think an absolutely brilliant interview by Virgil van Dijk and John Barnes actually saluted Jurgen Klopp as a Shankly-esque Liverpool boss and I think a former Liverpool player John Barnes who has been a legend at Liverpool said some very interesting uh, things about Jurgen Klopp too often over the past three decades the past 30 years Liverpool could be accused of living in the past and Brendan Rodgers suffered from being measured against our great managers of the past but along came Jurgen Klopp and he gave the, gave the club a new identity. You are seeing the same at Manchester United now with Sir Alex Ferguson's successors questioned over every move they make with fans saying this isn't how Fergie would have done it. The Liverpool fans believe in Jurgen Klopp. When he makes a decision such as he did about Daniel Sturridge for example, the fans accept it. They didn't accept similar decisions by Brandon Rodgers and if he left say Sturridge out of the team they would let him know their feelings. If the team lost 4-0 at Stoke the fans would boo the manager. If Klopp loses a game like 3 at, at Watford, that doesn't happen. The fans have faith in him, but they also have that connection, the sort of connection that goes back to Bill Shankly and the bootroom philosophy. The fans love Jurgen Klopp's character, his passion, his commitment to the cause. In reality, certainty at first, Klopp's record was no better than that of Brendan Rodgers. It might have been very similar, but the fans liked Jurgen Klopp's attitude, his character, they believed in him, the way they believed in Bill Shankly. Klopp is a throwback to Shanks in many ways. Alex Ferguson was one of the best managers when he took over at Old Trafford, but United's board gave him three or four years to turn it around and get it right. By and large, the fans took to Fergie, even in the early days when he wasn't successful. They liked him and could see what he was doing with the youth team, so they got behind him. If fans don't like the manager they are not slow in screaming and shouting about it and letting you know how they feel it was something similar with Pep Guardiola at City it was obvious the guy was a winner and would be successful there so there was an instant connection with the fans and they backed him rather than turning on him when they had a mediocre first season that's actually a very good point by John Barnes he continued on the other hand Jose Mourinho won a few things at Man United but the fans felt no connection to him because of his style of management the style of football so the board had to act and and sacked him it was the same with Louis van Gaal so uh, that's uh, I think a brilliant interview with John Barnes and I wanted to share that with you guys I really hope that you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching see you later goodbye